Salute to Hoops guys, welcome back. Another day, another video. And today we got the laptop out, as you can see. You already know what that means. We're talking about doing a little bit of investing. Before we get into the video, I want to thank everyone that's been liking and subscribing. The subscriber count is going up slowly but surely. I've uh, been getting a lot of comments on the videos, or a lot more comments I should say, uh, which is definitely exciting to me. It keeps me going, it keeps me motivated. Love making these videos for you guys, so I decided to do another one here. Now I was scrolling through my cards, my rookies, and uh, noticed that I have a lot of this particular player, and he's just been kind of a an afterthought, really. I mean, with, with how great this draft is, I think that there's some players that are overlooked, and I kind of wanted to give someone a little put some put some light on some names here. So this is going to be the first player I talk about. I mean. You guys probably have a lot of them too. With how stacked the draft class is, pretty much if if you don't pull, you know, a top rookie, Kobe White or John Moran or Zion or anything like that, we just kind of tend to put the other players off to the side, which is human nature. So we're gonna just get into this particular player here and whether or not I'm 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 gonna be investing in him. And that player is gonna be this guy right here. Luka Simonic, Simonic, yep, we're going to go with that pronunciation. Uh, Simonic drafted 19th overall by none, none other than the San Antonio Spurs, of course. Um, he has not played in the NBA. Well, he has, excuse me. He's played one game for the Spurs. He played 12 minutes. Um, not a lot of time to showcase really much of anything, and he didn't really showcase anything at all in that game. So... In typical Spurs fashion, they have, let's move him over here for a little bit. Uh, they've kind of hidden him away into the into the G League here. And I think he's going to be in the G League for a little while. Uh, he's a super young player. He's only 20 years old, so he's got a, a bunch of time for the Spurs to develop him. Uh, but his G League stats are as follows. Now, he played 33 games for the Austin Toros. Started 32 of them. He played 28 minutes a game. Averaged 15 points per game and 8 rebounds per game. Shot 31% from the 3-point, which isn't anything to really write home about. And 43% from the field, which is pretty decent. So, uh, we can keep in mind that those are all from only 28 minutes a game. Now, he did have some breakout games. He had a game where I believe he had like 45 points or something like that. Uh, which is obviously pretty pretty decent, especially for uh, such a young player. Now, Simonich, if we check out his draft profile here, listed at 6'11 in the combine. Uh, he listed as 6'9, so he's a little bit shorter uh, than what he was listed at here in his draft profile. I was watching the film on him, and uh, from what I gathered, he's definitely got some talent. Uh, he's got a, a high basketball IQ. He's been playing it. Uh, he played overseas prior to the NBA, so he's been a professional for quite a while. Uh, he's a big man. He can put the ball on the floor, so I'm pretty sure he can almost play small forward and power forward in today's NBA for sure, given that everyone goes with kind of a smaller ball lineup. He can get to the basket, uh, and it, his athleticism is kind of what stands out. Uh, when it comes to talking about Euro players, athleticism is not really something that that comes to mind very often but um, the guy puts down some monster dunks for sure doesn't have an explosive first step uh, but uh, he can he's quick enough to still get to the basket uh, one thing that I did notice his weaknesses are are his defense uh, he has he, once again going back to the fact that he's a Euro player they're really not known for their defense uh, He's got to put some weight on for sure. He's kind of a kind of a skinnier guy, but then again, he he is only 20 years old, so there's plenty of time for him to develop. Another thing that I like about Simonic is that he plays. He sorry, well he he does play for them, but he was drafted by the Spurs. Uh, if anyone's going to turn a, a player into uh, an NBA player, it's going to be the Spurs, uh, as they are obviously known for drafting these uh, Euro prospects and turning them into NBA players, uh, as we can see with Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker, 
um, and uh, Tiago Splitter uh, as well. So, moving on here. Do I think that Simonic is an NBA player right now? No, but I know what the Spurs are going to do. They're going to do they're going to do what they always do. They're going to store him in the G League for a couple years, get some player development going, and probably in two years, maybe less than that. I'm not a I'm not a fortune teller, but we're going to see Lucas Simonic definitely be playing in the NBA once they polish his game. I think he's going to have no issue kind of translating to the NBA. Uh, starts playing against phys- more physical players, so on and so forth. We're going to see uh, Lucas Simonic. We're going to see him. Don't worry. Now, moving on to whether or not he is a good investment. In my opinion, as of right now, I think that Lucas Simonic is definitely a good investment. Uh his cards are cheap. There there are some rookies, though, that went higher than him that the cards are cheaper. But you can still get his cards, obviously, for a good deal. Uh, as you can see, let's move, let's move down here. Uh, we got some of his mosaics going for like a dollar or something like that. I want to find a prism. If we can find one here. I know there was one on the page. His obsidian went for 13 bucks or 8 bucks. The graded rookie of his PSA 10 went for $130. So, uh, they, there you go. You can get, and this probably isn't happening very often, but you can find his cards for his prisms for a dollar. This one sold for $290, so on and so forth. But I think that if you take a look at his card prices, you can also tell here that there are people that actually are seeing the potential in Luca, uh, and that reflects on his prices. Now, am I actively investing in Lucas Simonic? Uh No, but I will say this. If I do come across his cards, which I have already, um, lots or anything of that nature, uh, for, for cheap, if I can get them for a steal, I'm definitely definitely buying them because I really do believe that uh, based on the game footage that I've seen, both G League and his Euro League stuff, I think that Lucas Simonic does have a lot of potential and... Like I said, the guy plays for the Spurs. We already know what the Spurs are on when it comes to developing uh, international players. It is what they're known for. They love doing it, and they're really good at doing it. So, would I go out of my way to spend a bunch of money on a Lucas Simonich car right now? No, but if I can get him for a steal or get a nice lot of, uh, you know, 10, 12 cards for, you know, 10, 10 bucks or something like that, uh, I, I'm definitely doing it. Low risk, high reward is the name of my game. And I think Lucas Simonchik kind of tailors to that. So that kind of concludes uh, our video on Lucas Simonchik, guys. Our, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just bought, there's some news for you. I just bought a video editing software. So I'm going to try to make the Salute Sunday video kind of a, the guinea pig when it comes to that the video editing software i'm trying to make these a lot more uh exciting for you guys uh, but i do appreciate those that are watching the videos currently uh, and hopefully i can kind of develop my 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 youtube game into something <laughs> into something that's that's kind of elite i mean at least i see a lot of these other guys out here so just bear with me I'm trying my hardest on that i do appreciate you guys for watching though I will have the Salute Sunday video out per usual. Uh, follow me at Instagram at Salute to Hoops. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.